Wow, 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 wow. Ah! Hey guys, welcome back. It is Monday, aka Mystery Monday, and I have got a monster of a Mystery Monday for you this week. I honestly think this might be the best mystery monday of the entire year so i am pretty pumped and excited to get this mystery box open for you now if you aren't subscribed to my channel already please think about hitting that subscribe button particularly because this video is actually going to be a giveaway video so not only is it a mystery monday video it is a giveaway which you are going to want to keep tabs on over the next coming weeks so please make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up so a little bit more about this giveaway, if you aren't familiar with my friend Beth, whose channel is the Collectioneers Club, then you will not know, but she has recently reached out to a bunch of us Disney YouTubers, there are 10 of us in total taking part in this giveaway, and she has had the most brilliant idea, I love the game Pass the Parcel, and she has somehow managed to turn that into a kind of gift exchange between the ten of us and also a giveaway to give to you guys at the end as well. It looks like this is going to be so much fun and I'm so excited that I'm going to be the first person opening up this box. I cannot wait but I feel there's a lot of pressure so bear with me. Um, hopefully I'll do this video justice and do Beth justice because um, I am so 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 excited about this giveaway. So Beth did a video explaining um, the ins and outs of the giveaway, how to enter, what you need to do. Um, so I'm going to kind of hand it over to her because she did such a fantastic job of explaining it. Her video of this um, giveaway, explaining the giveaway is so funny. So I will leave a link to that up above so that you can find that easily. So the gist is that there is this box and it's going to be passed around between the ten of us. There are 17 mystery Disney items inside that box at the minute. What I'm going to be doing is taking mystery items out, opening them up for you right here, right now, and then I'm going to be replacing the ones that I open with my own Disney mystery items which I've purchased and putting them back in the box and then sending it off to the next person. This will happen 10 times until it reaches Beth again. Once the parcel reaches Beth, that box is then up for grabs to be won. So I think you have a week up until Beth, um, sorry, a week from when Beth receives that parcel again um, to get all your entries in. Essentially what you need to be taking note of is how many mystery items we are opening up. Um, so Beth didn't open any up on her channel but she put 17 items into the box so her number would be 17 and however many I open up or put back into the box will be my number and then you need to keep track of that for the full 10 of us. Make sure you're jotting each number down in order and then you'll need to submit that to Beth but as I say she did a much much better job of explaining it than I am so please check out her channel um, and the giveaway video she explains it really really well so hopefully it will all make sense if not just leave me a question in the comments down below and I will do my best to try and answer but not only do you win the box at the end with 17 Disney mystery items inside there will also be a little bonus of a hundred Disney a hundred dollar Disney store gift card inside there as well so what a fantastic giveaway I'm so excited to be a part of it I've only just closed the giveaway and it's like one door closes and another one opens this is so exciting I cannot wait to get this open I almost opened it then but before I do I need to control myself because I haven't even mentioned the other fantastic ladies that are taking part of this in taking taking part in this with me first of all obviously Beth now I am so so grateful that Beth reached out to me and asked me to be part of this giveaway because I know I am much much further away than anybody else taking part and to be included um, when I'm all the way in the UK knowing the shipping costs and the time that that would add to you know postage this um, postage times and I'm just so so grateful that um, I was included in this um, it, it really does mean a lot to be included in things like this so I'm very very grateful so thank you Beth so much for thinking of me for this the other ladies all have fantastic Disney YouTube channels I'm kind of gonna um, follow Beth in that I'm just gonna list them alphabetically and um, not spend too much time talking about each channel because I'm so excited to get into this box but also I love each channel um, and there are 
such lovely ladies taking part in this so here we go so the other ladies other than beth and myself are alicia whose channel is cinder ali loves disney we've got saria whose channel is dream it DIY, Tony from Finding Disney, Elizabeth from Just a Disney Nerd, Melissa from Pixie Dust and Pins, Heather whose channel is the Disney Housewife Heather, Hope and Abby from the Disney Sisters and Nina from Wrestling with Disney. So we have some honestly fantastic ladies taking part in this. I am so so thrilled to be asked to be a part of it and I cannot wait, I'm the first one, yay! <laughs> So all of these items in here, with me being the first person in this lube, will all be from Beth. But as I said, there are 17 items in here. I have kind of already snipped around the edge because I didn't want to ruin the box too much because I'm hoping to use the same box to send it on. Uh, but I have just ripped off the addresses on the front. So when Beth did her introduction giveaway um, video, she spoke about each item that she was putting inside this box. But I wanted it to be a surprise for me as much as it is for you as to what I'm getting today so I skipped past that part of the video so I have no idea what I'm going to be receiving so here we go let's open it up together okay here we go here we go Ooh. so on the top we've just got a load of tissue let's move this out of the way gosh lots of tissue lots of tissue lots of tissue Ooh. Okay, so, wow, 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 ah! so exciting, okay, okay, so, oh my gosh, I thought that all of these would be individually wrapped, um, but they're not, I can kind of have a glance at what's in here already, there is so much stuff in here, so that we've got some mystery Zum Zum stackables, We've got um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs vinyl figures. Pocket Pop keychain figures. I love Funko Pops. We've got some pint sized heroes from Nightmare Before Christmas. Some of, the, some of these keychains. I love these keychains. I've got quite a few of these already. I think I've opened up about four of this packet. Um, I've got Buzz Lightyear's in here. He is my fave. I've already got two of him though. Oh, there's a villains one. Oh my gosh, there's a villains one. I think I'm gonna have to open that one. I wanted to just kind of root around and pick blindly, but I love my villains. This is perfect. I think I might have to take this one. There's another one here. Again, I've opened up this one, and this one has scrump inside. I got scrump, so I'm fairly happy with um, having got what I want from that. Ooh, we've got a Wreck It Ralph. Um, these are the kind of things that are kind of like in a dome. But then we've also got loads of vinyl figures. We've got Moana, I love Moana. We've got Coco, we've got Wreck-It Ralph. We've got, who's that? Oh, some of the Disney princesses. Oh, there's a Merida one. Look at Merida. Look at that crazy red hair. Oh. Who else have we got? Oh my God, some villains, more villains. Oh, Zootopia Funko figures. Oh my gosh, Beth, this is amazing. We've got some Incredibles figures. We've even got some, um, what's it called? You know, the Dorables. The Nightmare Before Christmas dome things. Oh my gosh. I wanna open all of it and I could have opened all of it had I bought 17 items to replace, but I haven't got 17 items. So. I think what I'm going to do, there are a few in here that I desperately, desperately want to open. So I'm going to pick those and then the rest I'm just going to pick randomly. So just one more peek at the box before we get inside. Look at all those goodies. Okay, I'm going to set it down. Whoops. Oopsie daisy. Ooh. Oopsie daisy, I think I let the excitement get its hold of me there. Um, so sorry you took a little bit of a tumble. So the ones that I am most loving, I love my villains over here. I got my Lucifer sat here behind me. So I'm gonna steal the villains items and that would be this. 
so these are the keychains um i can't remember what company these are from but i've got a few of these already but this i've never seen this villains one but we've got pete we've got um lady Shemaine, we've got madame mim gaston prince john um either Sai or i'm not sure hades um isma from the emperor's new groove and i thought that was um car oh no yes i i thought it was sir his thing because he kind of looks like he's wearing a hat but it's lady tremaine's dress that i'm seeing it is car and then if we look at the back it looks like there are two mystery items that we can receive this one kind of looks like hades but maybe in an angry form or something i don't know and then this one is weird i'm not sure what that would be any guesses that's a very odd shape for a villain i really can't place it no idea absolutely no idea I have recently started a car pin collection, so I'm loving my car at the minute. So he would be who I'm hoping for. Madame Mim, I absolutely love. Um, Yzma is so much fun as well. And then I'd love to maybe see what one of the mystery ones are like. There are the ones I'm hoping for. So happy this is in here. Thank you so much, Beth, for putting some villain stuff in. I'm sure she knew I wouldn't be able to resist the villains. Here we go. Where's the open tear on here? Oh no, it hasn't got one. Did I bring my scissors? I should have been prepared. Oh my gosh. So excited to get in. I cannot wait. Where are my scissors? I can't find them. I'm so unprepared. I found a knife. By the way, I would not try this at home. I'm going to just try and make a little slit without slipping my fingers off so that we can get into here. Ooh. So, not one of the ones I was hoping for but a pretty cool villain and a very funny villain. And we have got Hades. He looks very strange. It's kind of as though the print didn't quite work. It looks like his eyes are halfway down his head. Um, he looks a little bit freaky, but so cool to have a villain one of these. I've got about five or six already. I've got Jasmine over there I'm just looking at. Um, so super, super happy to have Hades. So see what I mean? Look how his eyes are halfway down his head. How weird, but such a cool little keychain. I love this, yay. Okay, let's carry on. There were some more villain stuff in here, wasn't there? this honestly it feels like christmas is happening all over again where did i see that villains one? Oh my gosh so i have pulled this one and decided to open this which is the disney mini mystery funko villains edition here are the options it's very difficult to get hold of these anymore but we have got maleficent and diablo her um raven we've got the queen of hearts and the white rabbit cruella and a puppy we've got um prince john and sir hiss we've got um oh my gosh i've forgotten his name the guy from princess and a frog and it looks almost like an evil version of scrump but i think it's supposed to be like a voodoo doll We've got Ursula and Flotsam and Jetsam, how amazing. We've got Hades and then I think, is that Panic or is it Pain? I think it might be Pain. And then we've got, is it Shan Yu and he's like Eagle from Mulan. So, so the rarest ones are the Princess and the Frog ones, but I would be hoping for Ursula or Flotsam and Jetsam, Maleficent. Um, Sir Hiss is pretty cool yeah i think those would be my favorite prince john so any of those maleficent's actually one in six so there's a fairly good chance we're going to get a maleficent how cool is that so many items in here oh. this video might be an hour long by the way just to warn you Ooh, i love my villains so excited i've been trying to find these villain mystery funkos for so long Ooh, it is not Maleficent because I can't feel any horns. But I think we've got a villain rather than a sidekick. If I was to take a guess, I think I might say that we've got Shan Yu, the um, villain from Mulan. Let's find out together. Ooh. <gasps> fun she is so sassy and amazing i love ursula so so much how cool is she 
Oh my gosh, this is probably the best thing that could have come out of this box. I love it. Okay, let's keep going. Otherwise, this is going to go on all day long. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Nightmare Before Christmas or The Incredibles, but I do love... Where did I? I did find something. I do love Moana. Moana is probably my all-time favourite Disney movie. I actually made a fantasy pin of Grandma Tala in her stingray form. That movie means so much to me. Um, I love the way that it's all about exploring and travelling and the songs in that movie, I listen to them all the time. They remind me of my time travelling. So Moana is a very, very special movie to me. So I think I'm going to open this one up next, another Funko mini mystery. So here is the box. We've got Moana. We've got some of the characters around the edges. And then these are our possibilities. So we've got some baby Moanas. We've got Hey Hey and Pua's. We've got some um, Maui's, Grandma Tala's. I love the Kakamoras. So I would be hoping for this guy or this guy. I've already got a little um, mini Pua. So um, I guess Pua would be the one I want least. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy with any. The shark version of Maui or the um, eagle, is it? A bird version of Maui. Pretty much any, but particularly the Kakamoras, I would love to get the most, I think. How much fun is this? Right, so let's get it open. So again, it's coming in a blind bag. It's a pretty big one. I think we might have Maui. How much fun is that? I've got a few Moana Funkos behind me. I've got like Takara and Tafiti and Moana and Grandma Tala. I've got um, my Tamatoas down here as well, but I do not have a Maui one. So that would be pretty awesome. And it is, we have got Maui. <gasps> this is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love how detailed his tattoos are on this. This is great. So here is Maui, how cool is he? Look how vibrant that grass skirt is. So much fun and look how detailed all of his tattoos are. Love this. Oh my gosh, this is the best mystery box ever. Beth, you have like blown me away with the items you put in here. I am so excited by this. I don't know what to open next. I honestly, I want to open absolutely everything in here. I really, really want to get Merida from here. And this Zootopia one looks like so much fun as well. I don't want to open all the fun <laughs> items in here and not leave anything for anyone else. So I think I'm going to try and get Merida from this. We're having some pretty good luck so far. So yeah, fingers crossed for Merida. So this is the princess version of the mystery Funkos. And here we have our options. So Cinderella and is that Gus? Yeah, so cute. Ariel, Flounder, Belle and Cogsworth, Anna and Olaf. And we've got Elsa and one of her little um, snow snow people i can't remember what they're called anna and a frog and then jasmine raja and merida and then one of her little brothers i think that must be but merida definitely definitely want merida please 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 other options i would love to get are flounder and raja um who else gus gus i love so probably more the um the sidekicks and the princesses themselves actually let's see what we're going to get from here I'm actually starting to lose track of how many I've opened. Um, I'm definitely going to have to keep track of that, otherwise I'm going to have to go and buy more to replace what I've opened. But let's see. Loving these mystery Funkos. Ooh, okay. It feels like a fairly small one. So I think we might have one of the sidekicks. Ooh, who does this feel like? a frog or a bear that was gonna be my guess a frog or a bear and i'm completely completely wrong because we have bell so definitely not frog or bear like but i love how gorgeous her gold gown is in this 
love this actually although i wasn't keen on any of the princesses i love this bell one so so much super happy with this no merida that time but that's okay i'm just gonna have to try and hunt down a few more of these i think okay so i think that's four items so so far that we've opened the wreck it ralph one i've opened already i've actually got my um i got this how cute so I will leave that for somebody else to open. I've opened this before, this before, this before, this before. So I will leave those for someone else. I've opened those before. And so what do we have left? And how many things have I got left to replace? Hmm. I think I'm going to go with... I tell you what. I said I would go... I said I would do it random. So I am. I'm going to do it random. I'm going to pop to the side the ones that I have opened up already on my channel. And I'm just going to root around in here and pick something out at random. Okay, so I have pulled another Funko mystery. I'm also with my Funkos, I'm sorry, I can't help it. And I picked up another mini mystery and this is the Zootopia one. How awesome! Pretty excited um, to have a Zootopia. I honestly didn't even know that these existed. So, I almost opened it without showing you what our options are options are judy nick is it fennec um the little fox dressed up as an elephant chief bogo um the what's his name you know the yoga instructor guy flash clawhauser mayor berryweather so another villain very very cool i would love to get her i'd love to get the elephant with the jumbo pop and we've got Mr. Big and Mayor Lionheart and then one of Mr. Big's um, polar bear goonies. So my favourites would be either Nick or Judy. I would love to get um, the villain of the pack. And I would also love to get this one with the jumbo pop and probably Flash. They would be my picks of the bunch. Now, Mondays have turned into my favourite day of the week. Honestly, best. Monday ever. There's wrappers everywhere, blind banks everywhere. I'm so happy I'm in my element right now. Oh, thank you so much, Beth. I'm having a ball and we've got the fox. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Oh wow, I'm so happy I opened this. I think this is my favourite of all of them so far. We have got Nick Wild. I'm in love with my foxes at the minute being a vixen i kind of want to start a foxy collection so i love that i've pulled nick from here and how awesome is he such a cunning fox i love this guy so much i love that he's got his like tartan trousers or plaid trousers on he looks amazing. So, so happy with Nick. Yes, definitely decided. Nick is my favourite of the bunch so far. But I'm just going to have to do a quick recount of how many I've opened up so far because I feel like I'm getting carried away and I'm not going to have enough items to replace. So bear with me a second whilst I do a little bit of adding up. Okay, so I think we can still keep going. Okay, so let's do some rooting and pick some stuff at random. Ooh, we got the Snow White Pint Size Heroes, another Funko mystery item. Has everything been Funko so far? Um, I love, love, love my Funkos. I love Snow White. Honestly, I'm having a bit of a Snow White um, rekindling of my love for her at the minute because um, I recently watched it and it really reminds me of my mum ever since she dressed up as Snow White at Christmas. Um, so yeah definitely loving snow white i love that all the dwarves are in here let me show you the back so we can see what we're hoping for so obviously i'm hoping for some villains the evil queen or even her in her hag form i think i love her as her old hag more than as the queen i love snow white in her rags but my favorite of the dwarves i mean i'm not that bothered about getting the prince but i love who do i love I love Sleepy, I love Sneezy, I love, and I love Dopey. So they would be the ones that I'm hoping for. But honestly, if I had to pick one, it would be the old hag. Let's find out. Oh. It is not any of the ones I said I wanted, but I can't believe I forgot about this guy. 
because we've got Grumpy and he is so funny and so cute. So he's definitely pint sized. Look how cute he is. I love the Grumpy expression on his face. He looks tiny. He looks like those um, little figures he used to play with as kids. I can't remember what they were called now, um, but they used to always topple over and he looks like he's going to topple over a lot. So really, really happy to have Grumpy. I can't believe I forgot to mention him as one of my favourite dwarfs. So yeah, very, very happy to have him. And we can still keep going. Okay, okay. I'm gonna open this one. Ooh, okay, another Funko. This one is a keychain. And we've got some really cool characters in here. Okay, and so our options are Tinkbell, Ariel, Pocahontas, Maleficent, Stitch, Wally and Eve, Baymax, the Cheshire Cat, and Sally and Jack. So I love Baymax so much. So he would be the one I'm hoping for the most, I think. But I would also love, obviously, to get a villain. So Maleficent. Pretty much any of these I think I'd be happy with. But the Cheshire Cat's probably the one I'm hoping for the least. So here we go again. Mystery item number seven. Oh, what an awesome one to get. We've got Ariel and she is honestly gorgeous. Sorry, I can hear my phone buzzing, but I don't know where it is. It's under this pile of mystery um, blind bags, so I'm just gonna ignore it. I'll have to call them back in a moment because there are more pressing matters. Let me show you Ariel, she is absolutely gorgeous. I love this so much. I think this is gonna go on my keys straight away. I love that she's got like a, I was gonna say starfish, but it's not, it's like a pink flower in her, her receive flower. Um, I l absolutely love this so, so much. Ariel is one of my favourite princesses. Um, Merida and Rapunzel top her at the minute for me, but Ariel is definitely up there with my favourites. So very, very happy to have this. And the very first pair of Disney ears I got when I was in Walt Disney World were um, Ariel ears, which I love. They're actually being worn by Lucifer behind me over there at the minute. So yeah, loving my Ariel keychain. Again, I've lost count. I get carried away with myself. How many have I opened now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I've got time for one more. I have pulled this one. Now, this is the Coco Mini Mystery Funko figurine. Um, there are some really great characters in this. I love Coco. I think I've only seen it the once since it came out, but... Um, I really struggle to bring myself to watch it again because it makes me cry so much. Um, but there are only eight to collect in this one by the looks of it, but they are all pretty cool. I love this set, so here we go. Okay, so I know this video seems to be going on forever, so I'm going to run through these pretty quick. So um, I don't know the names of all of these, but I know that we've got Miguel, we've got an Ernesto, um, Miguel's dad. Hector, we've got um, Dante the dog. I would love to get him in his like spirit animal form. That's the one I'm hoping for the most. Either him or um, Hector or Miguel in their skeleton forms would be really cool. So for those of you who've been keeping track, this will be my eighth and final item that I'm opening. So the number that you will need to note from this video is eight. Also my birthday month, so um, that's pretty cool. But, ooh, oh. Mmm, I think this might be Miguel. Oh, this is so cool. Not one of the ones I want I, I said I wanted, but honestly, absolutely stunning. I love this. So I actually can't remember her name, but this is Miguel's grandma that he meets in the afterlife, and honestly, she is stunning. I love her expression. Oh, so so happy I got this one I absolutely love it more than I thought I would actually really really pleased with this so there we have it how amazing was that mystery Monday I honestly I feel so overjoyed with that box it was so much fun thank you so much Beth for sending all these amazing items I'm now going to run quickly through the items that I'm going to be adding to the box so if you don't want to know and you want to be surprised like the person who I'm going to be sending this box to then close your eyes now so I have got another of these Wreck-It Ralph vinyl figures to add I've got some more Dorables to add I've got another of these keychain sets I've got the princess ones I've got two of these 
little animator collector um, vinyl figures to collect. So blind bags inside there. So we've got the green and the orange one. I've got an Ushi um, princess version of um, like a pencil topper. And then I've got two of these um, mystery 3D puzzle erasers. And I've got the Frozen and the Incredibles version of these. Okay, you can open your eyes again. So they were the eight items that I'm gonna be putting inside the box and sending off to the next person. It's gonna be a secret as to who I'm sending this parcel off to next. And it will also be a surprise as to when it arrives and when they upload their video because it is gonna be shipped all the way from the UK back over to the US now. So you are gonna to wanna to make sure that you are subscribed to each and every one of us and that you've hit that notification bell so that you can keep track of where this mystery box is gonna show up next. I will leave a description, I will leave a list of all the girls involved in this giveaway in the description of this video so that you can go through and just make sure that you are subscribed and that you've hit the notification bell for each of the other ladies involved. I hope you had as much fun watching this as I had doing it because honestly this has been the best start to a Monday for me I've had in a very very long time. It's definitely helped cure some of those January blues. So thank you again so much to Beth for including me in this giveaway honestly it means the world to be included when I'm so far away so I'm honestly touched and I've had so much fun my jaw and my cheeks are actually aching from smiling so much I've loved every item I've received but my favorite is that Nick Wilde let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item from this unboxing is good luck to everybody that enters I will see you all real soon bye